Hello, I'm John Worthen, president of Ball State University, and I'm happy to welcome you here. I joined Ball State in 1984, and I hope that your experience will be as satisfying and as productive as mine has been. I'd like to share briefly a little about how our university operates and some of the ideas that are important to us. Ball State is governed by a nine-member board of trustees appointed by the governor. One trustee is a student who is a full voting member. The board establishes overall policy for the university and is the group with whom I work closely. One of my responsibilities is to work with the Indiana Commission for Higher Education and the General Assembly to obtain the support that is necessary to operate the university. About two-thirds of our funding comes from state tax dollars and about one-third comes from student fees and tuition. Assisting me are four vice presidents. This group, along with two executive assistants and an associate provost, comprises the senior staff. Ball State's single most important goal is to be a premier teaching university. This means that we place a high value on the interaction that takes place between the student and the professor in the classroom. It means we strive to offer the best possible instruction in all of the 125 academic programs which students may choose. It means, too, that although all our faculty are expected to conduct research, teaching undergraduate and graduate students is their first priority. We are a mid-sized university, enrolling between 19,000 and 20,000 students. Ball State, of course, is much larger than the typical liberal arts college, so we're able to offer an array of programs that a smaller institution can't offer. On the other hand, we are more personal than the major research institutions in the country with 35,000 to 50,000 students on their campuses. Our students have direct access to the faculty. They can develop associations that they simply couldn't develop in a much larger institution. Most Ball State classes are taught by full-time professors, not by graduate assistants. But it's very important that in everything we do, we communicate to students that we care about their success. We want them to learn, to grow, and to develop. And it is our intent to stretch them, which is really the role of a university. Over the past few years, Ball State has emphasized the use of computer and visual technology to enhance teaching and learning. We believe that in the 21st century, almost everyone will need to be skilled in using technology, and that's why we expect all graduates of Ball State, no matter what their major, to be computer competent. We are also encouraging faculty to use technology to re-engineer their courses so that students assume more responsibility for their own learning. Ball State is well positioned to become a national leader but that potential can only be realized if each of us, staff, faculty, and administrators, work together effectively. Your contributions in the years ahead will be very important. We're proud of the quality of our faculty and staff and pleased that you have joined us. Thank you for your commitment to Ball State. Hello, I'm Warren Vanderhill, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. As provost, I'm the chief academic officer of the university. Each of the college deans reports to this position. At Ball State, we strive for quality programs, both for the students as well as the faculty. Assisting me is an associate provost who oversees research and sponsored programs, international programs, academic assessment in the Center for Teaching and Learning, among other activities. Ball State's organized into seven colleges. They are the College of Architecture and Planning, the only program of its kind among state universities in Indiana, the College of Business, which has the largest undergraduate enrollment of any business college in Indiana, the Teachers College, carrying on the great tradition of our origins as a training ground for educators, the College of Sciences and Humanities, our largest college with 20 departments, ranging from anthropology to speech pathology and audiology, the College of Applied Sciences and Technology, the home of the world-renowned Human Performance Laboratory, College of Fine Arts featuring theater, dance, music, and art, 
and Ball State's newest college, the College of Communication, Information, and Media, home to the departments of journalism, telecommunications, and speech communication, as well as the Center for Information and Communication Sciences. In addition to the deans who are in charge of each of these seven colleges, there are five administrative deans who have responsibility for university libraries, university college, the Honors College, continuing education, and the graduate school. Ball State also has a system of shared governance. The forum for discussion and debate is the University Senate. The Senate's made up of elected faculty, administrators, and student representatives. Let me welcome you to a university that is better because its employees care enough to work together. Hello, my name is Tom Kinghorn and I am currently serving as Vice President for Business Affairs and Treasure. It is my real pleasure to join others in welcoming you to Ball State University. I have been associated with Ball State for more than 30 years and I can assure you that this is a place where you can learn, grow professionally, and share your talents with others. For the past 15 years, I have been privileged to serve with other senior administrators in coordinating the work of business affairs. This is a very diverse group with responsibilities that include legislative relations with the Indiana General Assembly and federal government, liaison work with the Indiana Commission for Higher Education and federal agencies, also includes university budgets, contracts and purchasing, the full range of controllership functions, university auditing, human resources, facilities planning, and building construction and maintenance. Through this organization, the university also operates several business entities, including a bookstore, a telephone exchange, Emmons Auditorium, and a dining service that serves approximately 12,000 meals every day. All of these support functions are critical if the university is to achieve its mission of providing the best in education for our students. As you go about your daily activities, I would encourage you to think about the importance that each individual plays in having the university reach its overall goal. It takes all of us working together to provide the best educational setting for student learning. Best wishes to each of you as you begin your new assignment. Hi, I'm Doug McConkey, Vice President for Student Affairs. I'd like to add my welcome and tell you a little bit about the Student Affairs programs. I think it's accurate to say that much of the learning our students experience outside the classroom is of primary interest and concern to the Student Affairs staff. Our involvement begins with the admissions process. We coordinate the student recru recruitment programs, determine who is admitted, and organize the orientation activities. The Office of Scholarships and Financial Aid is important to many students who receive over $73 million in financial aid each year from federal, state, and university sources. Other programs that fall under student affairs are the health services, including pharmacy, health education, and the health center, housing and residence life, and the Office of Multicultural Affairs, which helps maintain an open and diverse atmosphere at Ball State University. We also handle disabled student services, public safety and parking, registration and academic progress, counseling and psych psychological services, student life, leadership and service programs, the student center, and the student ombudsperson. Our mission of support and guidance continues through commencement and beyond with career services assistance for students as well as alumni. Well, that's student affairs. And as you can see, we cover just about everything outside the classroom. We work very closely with the academic programs, with business affairs, and university advancement. Ours is a team approach designed to make Ball State a productive and enjoyable place for our students to learn. Hello, I'm Don Park, Vice President for University Advancement. Our area is a bit different from many of the others you've seen. University Advancement deals with a diverse number of constituent groups, both on and off the campus. On campus, our role is to assist all areas of the university in the preparation of communication materials, and to provide marketing and public relations support for various university programs and functions. Off campus, we're responsible for communicating Ball State's message to numerous target audiences, including the media and the past and current and future students. In addition, we maintain relations with alumni and friends of Ball State and develop private financial support for the university. The work is diverse, sometimes complicated and hectic, but always fulfilling. 
Advancement is made up of four units, alumni programs, university development, university relations, and advancement services. Alumni programs serve 105,000 alumni through outings, constituent group organizations, an extensive communications program, mailings, and the alumnus magazine. It is through their good work that we are able to establish long-term relationships and maintain good communication with our alumni worldwide. University development is responsible for building private financial support for the university from alumni, friends, foundations, and corporations. This is a very important unit of advancement, which works closely with alumni programs. Over the next five years, private dollars will allow the university to complete a number of projects that cover both the academic and the physical setting of the campus. Now, University Relations is the overall communications unit of advancement. They're a professional group of communications managers, writers, producers, directors, and graphic artists that develop communication materials for all areas of the university. In addition, they're responsible for external messages from the university at large. Their good relationships with the media has allowed the Ball State story to be told loud and strong. Advancement Services is the fourth area of advancement. They operate solely as an internal function, providing control and support for maintenance of the large database of alumni and friends of the university. Finally, there's the Ball State University Foundation. While they're separate from the university, we share a common database and work very closely in the acquisition of private funds given to the university. The foundation currently manages assets in excess of $60 million. In a nutshell, that's university advancement. On behalf of the more than 60 members of our staff, I want to welcome you to Ball State University.